This is a quick video to show how to make a copy denture. So what I've done is I'm going to use a splint module and make sure it's called target model and then we're going to draw a line. So I'm going to click extrude and just fast forward it quickly. Perfect. Fuse the line, trim it, and then clean the mesh. Then we're going to make a layer and accept it. And I'm going to smooth it. Just smooth the border. But I can see there's a few places which I'd like to overextend a little bit. They're a little bit short. So make sure the snapping tool is off and the proportional editing tool is on and then stretch the mesh like a sock. Just pull it over where it's a little bit ins you know, insufficient. Now remember this becomes your cutting tool. But we're not going to cut it, we're going to use the intersection. I'm happy with that. Exit the layer, the, the, the smoothing tool, click on exit and then finish this layer. So this layer extends 2mm outside and 2mm inside. Go to the properties section on that little spanner, select boolean and this time intersection and then grab the dropper and the, the green is going to intersect the the denture this leaves me with a with a bit of a layer so it's two millimeter layer extending inwards then the bottom of the wax up module select your object being cut and then select the object making the cut and this pink menu is going to copy your object, make it bigger, remesh it, and use that specific one as a cutting tool. And then apply cut, and we know that we have an offset calculated in there so that when you print it, it will then fit. Let's see how that looks. So I'm going to grab this downwards and here we've got our two separated and additionally to that we have a little bit of mechanical retention. So one of them should fit snugly into the other one. <music> 